Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about 10 lies you've been told about success. Now, let's begin. Number one, eyes on the future. You've probably heard this myth before. Successful people are constantly looking into the future. They're setting distant goals for themselves, imagining their lives five or 10 years in advance, and planning for the long term. But you know what? That's not actually true. Successful people think about more than just the future. They strike a balance between looking forward and living in the present. All right, let's say you spend every day thinking about what's next. You try to anticipate future problems. You want to set yourself up for success down the road. But you spend so much of your time thinking about the future, you forget about the present. You stop thinking about the hurdles that you're currently facing, and you start neglecting the relationships in your everyday life. Now, don't get me wrong, thinking about your future is a good thing. Planning specific stages and goals for your life will only help you later on. But success isn't just about preparing for the future. You have to pay attention to the present. You have to learn from the challenges you're facing right now and take pride in the life you're living. Number 2. Canceling Your Free Time Oh, this is a big one. Everyone talks about how much time and effort it takes to be successful. You've probably heard about CEOs working through the weekends and holidays to keep their businesses running smoothly. But here's what they don't tell you. All of these successful people still make time to relax and have fun. Being successful doesn't mean working 24-7, no. Success is a big commitment, yes, and you may need to put in some long hours, but just because you want to be successful, that doesn't mean you have to give up on the other things you love. All right, take Elon Musk, for example. Not only is he one of the wealthiest people in the world, he's also one of the most ambitious. He operates multiple huge companies and aims to change the course of history. Yet, you'll still find Elon Musk sitting on his couch watching movies after work or playing video games with his kids. Even the most disciplined people in the world have free time, and they use that free time to catch up on their hobbies. Look, my point is, you don't need to choose between fun and success. You can have both. All you need is a little moderation. If you're putting in the hours at work, if you're going the extra mile, then don't hesitate to enjoy your favorite hobbies. Because success doesn't mean giving up on the things you love. Number 3. Work Creates Success Few things are more important than a good work ethic. Diligence and self-discipline are incredibly valuable skills in the workplace. They give you the tools to rise above the competition. But here's the myth that people keep telling you about success. If you work hard enough, success will come. Well, the truth is, hard work doesn't guarantee anything. You could work 10 times harder than someone else, put in way more hours, and dedicate your life to your job, yet they may be more successful than you are. In other words, work and success don't have a one-to-one -one ratio. You can't rely solely on your work ethic to be successful. There are all kinds of other skills you need, like talent, flexibility, and courage. Without those things, it doesn't really matter how much effort you put in or how many hours you spend. Hey, a great work ethic is valuable, but it's not your ticket to the top. Number 4. Sinking with your ship Another very common myth is that successful people never, ever quit. There is some truth to this. Successful people are persevering. They explore all their options, and when life knocks them down, they always get back up. But sometimes, quitting is the smartest thing you can do. There's an old expression that every captain should go down with her ship. It may work like that on the ocean, but in life, things are a little bit different. Because knowing when to quit is, in many ways, a skill. It takes years of practice, and you'll fail several times before you get it right. That's how the most successful people got where they are today. They took calculated risks, and when something didn't pan out, they knew it was time to throw in the towel. Now, to be clear, that doesn't mean successful people give up easily. If you want to be successful, you have to try everything to keep your dream alive. But you shouldn't cling to a failing idea just because you think you're supposed to. Number 5. The 1% Who becomes successful? There's a myth that only the top 1% of people ever find success in their lives. But that couldn't be a bigger lie, because success looks different for everyone. For some, success is about money, luxury, and power. For others, success is about passion, family, or freedom. 
Your definition of success is unique to you, and there's no reason why you can't find that success in the near future. The key is to look inside yourself and ask, what does success look like to me? Many people are blinded by popular definitions of success. Thousands of people try and fail to climb their way up the social ladder without asking themselves what they really want, because you may be chasing a vision of success that won't make you happy. So instead of wasting years of your life, take some time to think, because you may realize your definition of success, hmm, is a lot closer than you thought. Number six, focus on yourself. Many people claim you have to show your teeth to be successful. You have to fight for your spot and step on anyone who gets in your way. They'll tell you that nice guys finish last, but you know what? That's just not true. There may be some situations where nice people are taken advantage of, where you have to be selfish to earn respect or to stake your claim, but for the most part, kind and considerate people are more successful than mean ones. Why is that? Because people like them. They make great teammates, they bring people together, and they form lasting connections which really come in handy down the road. Sometimes you have to be selfish, but don't let anyone tell you that kindness is a waste of time. Number 7. Money brings happiness Everyone's heard the phrase, money can't buy you happiness, yet people treat financial success like the final piece of their puzzle. I won't pretend that money doesn't improve the quality of your life, well it does, but a big paycheck will never be the answer to all your problems. True success requires much more than money. It's about purpose, about passion and gratification. Success is about creating a future that fulfills and inspires you. So don't spend your life chasing money around. Instead of worrying about how much money you're making, think about what you're using that money for. Number 8. Fake it until you make it. You don't have to change who you are to be successful. Yeah, you may need to confront your fears. You may need to do things you never thought you would. But you should always, always stay true to yourself, your values, and your beliefs. Otherwise, you may find yourself living a life that just doesn't make you happy. You may think you need to wear a mask to be successful. You pretend to be confident, cutthroat, and arrogant. Like you're not scared of anything. But that fake persona isn't doing you any favors. If you want to be successful, improve yourself, empower yourself, and support yourself. But don't change the person that you are. Number 9. Stick to your strengths It's important to know what you're good at, to polish your skills in one area, and to rise above the competition. But don't make the mistake of ignoring your weaknesses. This piece of advice gets thrown around quite a bit. People tell you to stick to your strengths, to focus only on the areas where you excel. But that makes you one-dimensional. You can fill a certain niche, accomplish a specific role, but how do you expand into something new? The truth is, flexibility is often a more important skill because you can adapt to any problem that comes your way and define success no matter what role you're thrown into. That's how many of the most successful people got where they are today. Not because they stuck to their strengths, but because they were constantly evolving. Number 10. Success requires luck. You may need a bit of luck to be successful. You never know when you're going to run into the right person or stumble across the right job. But you should never ever wait around for the universe to do you a favor. That's where many people go wrong. They assume that success is just waiting for your big break, biding your time until someone or something launches you into the future you deserve. That may work for a select few people, but most of us need to play an active role in our success. You should create your own luck. Put yourself in positions where you can succeed. Instead of waiting to randomly run into someone, just make some calls, send dozens of emails, and really put yourself out there. Because every time you try, you're raising your odds a little more. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.